Well, it was a thrilling night because Comet Ison, a giant comet about a mile across, was grazing across the sun. Now, if it hit the sun at the right point, it would uh, flash round and we'd see a beautiful comet with a beautiful tail too close and it'd be vaporised. So what happened last night was that it entered around the sun, as I think we'll be able to see, um, and these uh, pictures show that it didn't... At first, NASA scientists didn't see it emerge, so they thought it had died. But then there are these fragments that you can see. And the question was whether they were just bits of debris or whether they'd reignite. And late last night, a little bit of it did reignite. So we're unsure what's going to happen next, whether it's going to kind of carry on swinging round and that we'll be able to see it in the night sky, or whether it's going to uh, fizzle out. And so does that make tonight a, a crucial night in terms of working out whether it might or might not be c continue on its trajectory? Well, anything could happen in the next hours or, or days, but uh, we'll know pretty soon whether it's going to be any kind of spectacle. I have to say, I don't think anyone's going to be able to see it with the naked eye. It's not lived up to its promise of comet of the century, uh, but uh, there's a possibility that we might be able to see it in the night sky if you look really hard, especially if you've got some binoculars. And is there any particular direction then we should be looking, Pala? Uh, it, it'll be visible in the night sky in about two weeks. If, you want to, if you're really keen, you can see it at about between four and five in the morning.